Where's the turkey, Jeremy? What? The turkey. Where's the turkey? I thought you were getting the turkey. You what? No turkey? You fucking idiot, Jeremy! You total fucking idiot! That was your job, you fucking moron! You cretin! You're a fuckhead! That's what you are! A fucking shithead! It was a joke, Mark. I was joking. It was a Christmas joke. Uh, oh, I see. Oh. Of course I've got a turkey. It's an organic turkey. I took ages researching it online. It's going to be delicious. That, that looks like a lovely turkey. I'm sorry, I, I flew off the handle a bit. That wasn't very Christmassy. No, it wasn't. I apologise. Angus is coming. April's husband. You didn't mention the husband, you dark, filthy, dirty horse. Yes, well, she's got a husband, and in 30 minutes he'll want some dinner. I need to bulk out. Lettuce. Bulky lettuce. They'll bring wine, but we need booze. Where's the rum? Get the rum, make a cocktail. What cocktail? Any fucking thing. R rum and water, rum and milk, chop some parsley into it. They're all basically horrible. It's action stations. Fuck! How quickly can you get to Mr Patel's and back? Mr Patel's? Austerity cornflakes and Latvian feta. Look, here we go. Beans. Everyone likes beans. I can't serve baked beans. Beans are pasta sauce. <coughs> beans are not pasta sauce. They're tomato-y. Ketchup is tomato-y. That's not a pasta sauce. It is when I make pasta. What the hell are you doing? I'm picking the beans out. With your disgusting human fingers? Mashed. I, I can mash them. Right, we're getting somewhere. Cooking's all about confidence. I'm just going to mix it all together. I need to go Nigella. I'm going to be the hairy biker. That's not Nigella. That's not even Ainsley, mate. <laughs> How about some lovely filling lettuce? What are you doing? I'm improvising. Good. It's like, whose pasta is it anyway? Yeah? How old are these? I don't know. They're always good. Eggs, aren't they? Till they hatch. Are they? Yeah. You know what? Maybe it's fine. Is it Moroccan? Maybe it is Moroccan. Yeah, Morocco. <laughs> Anything goes in Morocco. Right. OK. I like it that way. They can't prove otherwise. Fuck them. Exactly. That's the dinner party spirit. Fuck them all! <laughs> Listen, Mark, the past will be fine. It'll all be fine. Do you think? Absolutely. Although I would recommend getting rid of the love message on your eyes. Oh, my God. I forgot! Oh, my God! Ooh, lid scour. Is it coming off? Is it coming off? Not exactly. Jeremy, did you use permanent marker? I might have used permanent marker. I'm going to have to bleach my eyes. Good idea. Although... Eyes, bleach. Is that a bad one? I'm going to have to keep my eyes open all night. Is that possible? I can do this. I can do this all night. Oh, I can't do this. Now, as we move into red, let it all go, my superluminaries. Open the box. Yeah, sure, honey. Appear to be opening the box while, in fact, the lid stays very firmly on. She's buying it. God, it's so easy being a freak. No wonder they're ten a penny. I should get extra marks for not feeling a fucking thing. Uh, I'm really glad that we did manage to meet up, because uh, I don't know what I'd have done with this otherwise. Samurai, the world of the warrior! It's, it really is the, the only book you need on samurai culture. That I could find for under 15 quid. Oh, Mark, that is thoughtful. Oh, yeah, getting kissed by the one. Oh, look at this. Jeremy left a bloody door on it. Jeremy! Hello? Hi. What are you...? I'm, I'm looking for... Kenny? Kenny's not here. Oh, OK, then I'll just... No. Oh, my God, what am I doing? Can I... Hey, hey, no, no, hey, no! I've got asthma, what the fuck are you doing? I'm wrestling with the white working class. Morse never did this. S shut up! <laughs> I'm better than Morse. Oh, wow, Mark, you totally took him out. Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah, well, my home is my castle. <sighs> so, get off, I was just... You were coming back for what you didn't get last week. That's my bloody watch! You've got my watch on! Please, please. <laughs> yes, I've apprehended a burglar. Flat 5, Apollo House, London Road, Croydon. 45 minutes? But I'm... I'm sitting on him. Is that legal? OK. Who needs a samurai exhibition when you get a samurai display? 
Look, uh, if, if you want, we, we can do this another time. No, I, mean, I can't leave you now. You might need... Well, to... well that's great. I, I mean, I, I think I'm OK with him, but it'd be good to have someone else there with a bottle or a spanner to bonk him on the head with if he tries anything. Oh, this is a nice place. Thank you. If she spanners me, I'll kick off. It's good to get a foot on the ladder. Plus, I've got pension provision coming out of my ass. There, there's wine in the fridge. This is actually turning out pretty well. This could be a funny family story. We met when he sat on a burglar. Oh, what are you doing? Who are you sitting on? It's a burglar. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm not. I've got the wrong flat. I'm looking for Kenny. I'm asthmatic. We need money for a meter. Oh, the plot thickens. You might have got the wrong flat. Oh, that's right. Take his side. You've only known me for 15 years, whereas him, he's a pillar of society. Well, he stopped sitting on him. You look like a dick. You didn't see him take him down. Oh, hi. I'm oh, Heather. Hi, hi. Look, Heather, can you watch him? I'll double lock the door. And then we can all go through into the living room and just all keep an eye on him there, OK? To do something a bit special to catch me up now, mate. Don't let him know he's got to you. Play it cool. Play it suave. Oh, I think I can manage that, mate. Watch me bowl, Jeff. <laughs> I'm bowling, all right? I'm bowling fruit. <laughs> I'm on another level. I've gone beyond. <laughs> Crack. There you go. Cheers. Wuthering Heights is so obviously an exploration of, you know, wild elemental forces. The Jeremy's right. He's a mind. shit. Can we go in for five narrow. minutes, Tom? An ode to dark passions and a kind of savage, savage rhapsody. rhapsody. Sorry, Ben, very easily done, but I think you might accidentally be giving opinions from quite a well known online essay on Wuthering Heights as your own. Fuck you, sure Mark's going into bat for me. I not understood the book at all. Wuthering Heights isn't a hymn to lust and passion. And he's really good at this, unlike any game actually involving a bat. Gothic nonsense is, and how it inevitably has to give way to real life and real love. Wow. Blimey, Mark, you sound like an intellectual, like Tony Parsons or something. This is what I was born to do. It's like Robert Robinson fucked Joan Bakewell and they had me. Right, screw this. I'm off. Bunch of fucking suits. Well, shall we cool off? Put our big hot brains on ice for five. Back to yours. Sounds like a plan, Stan. <laughs>